So Tom had this idea to do a little bit of a challenge. He wants to see if I can tell the difference between Dollar Tree and uh, Audi's decaf instant coffee. So they are right here. So here is the Dollar Tree one. I'm not saying it's great. It is only a dollar. And here is the Audi decaf. And I'm not sure how much is this one. It's two eighty nine, but it it comes out to be for the amount it comes out to be thirty five cents more. So if the, if all these sold if, if the dollar store sold it in seven ounces, which they don't, it would be thirty five cents cheaper. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna use our latest free cycle, free cycle acquisition. We're gonna use the Cuisinart, and right now the water is just heating up. Tom is gonna make me two cups of coffee. I'm gonna go and leave the room. He's going to somehow know which is which. And I'm going to taste them and I'm going to tell you which one I think is the Audi one and which is the Dollar Tree one and which one I think tastes better. Tom has tried both of them but not in a blind test and he tells me that this is much better. I mean I don't doubt it. I'm sure it is going much better. Dollar Tree. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I'm going to leave the room right now. Tom's going to make the coffees and I'll come back in a minute and test them and taste them and tell you which one I prefer and which one I think is LD and which is Dollar Tree. All right, so you can see I'm gonna put the tea, I mean the, the coffee, in the cups. I'm gonna use the same spoon, so I'm not in the, in the teapots uh, making noises. So I'm gonna try to use the same amount for each one. So it's like around a teaspoon, so it's one. And then around a teaspoon. The consistency is pretty similar with both of these with the grain, gra grain. It's not like one's not grainier than the other, like sometimes you get with uh, non instant coffee. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'll, but I'll use different spoons to mix them so there's no contamination. So we're going to do that right now. So let me find a different spoon. I'll use a Kobe fork, but that was fine. All right, it's going crazy. The thing's making noises. So I'm going to take the first one and I'm going to put it in. So we're going to fill it up about halfway and I'll make sure both of them are equal. And I'll, I'll video that to verify it. very close so you can see the camera you can see they're both pretty much filled up so the one so I'm lining them up so the one on the right is this and the one on the left is this I'm not gonna say because shows it with an earshot so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these and turn them like that and I'm gonna take this container and cover it up so we have our cups lined up here so we're just gonna keep them right and left and I'll take uh, the, the fork to stir this one and the spoon to stir this one so we're not contaminating anything so then we'll have Joe come in here and we'll see if, if she can tell the difference yeah Are so you, you want milk in it right I'm getting milk so that I can actually drink it. Oh, you take the camera then, and I'll okay. turn this off and turn the coffee You're going to put some milk in? Yep. Ooh. Okay, well, they both look like coffee. Yeah, they both look like coffee. We're going to measure the milk because I want to make this official. So we'll actually have a measurement okay. here. So let's see if I can get it small. You're going to put a generous amount in so I can drink it. That'll do. That much? Yeah. So we're going to do it. Uh, it's a very small of cup, cup of coffee that you made me. Quarter. Well, I know, but it's it, not it, a it, mug of coffee. The goal is to have it be equal to the one cup if you put them together. Okay. So there's like that's just what filled up, and I'll do the same for the other one. Okay. Yeah, and I will stir them uh, with the same. Well, actually, I'm not gonna. It, that's fine. I'll, I'll stir them with the same spoon. I did the spoon for the left, one, right one. And that one, look how quickly the milk mixed into that one. I wonder if that means something. I don't know. And the look, coloration. Is the color different? It's hard to light. Uh, they look about the same color. I think this one looks a tad lighter. I've added the same amount of with milk. With the same amount of milk, but 
That might just be me. All right, I'm gonna try them. All right. All right, so let's go for the, uh, the lighter one first. That's the right side one. I'm pretty sure that's the Dollar Tree one. Haven't been drinking the Dollar Tree decaf for a while. You never know though, they could buy from the same place. Let's try this one. <laughs> that's definitely stronger. So that's the Aldi <laughs> one. That's the Dollar Tree <laughs> one. Which one do I prefer, however? <laughs> That one is almost um, more bitter in your mouth. So if you want it, if you want smoother coffee, I think this is smoother. So it might not actually be coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I am I right? Lift, lift up the can. Uh, yes, the, I am right. Mama's right. Right, but I actually think. It's easier to I drink that. I might prefer the decaf. I like strong coffee, so I, I like coffee when it's not instant. I only really like instant decaf, and this doesn't take have that like. This is instant flavor. I don't think it this, tastes like coffee, actually, this, but it's, that's fine. This has that like. That's in, and you can tell this is instant. I guess <laughs> it's a. I, I consider the Dollar Tree coffee. Yeah. It's it's a warm drink, but I don't consider it. I wouldn't. I think I found the answer. It makes sense. Yeah, hybrid. Oh, that's Smooth yet bold. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, that sounds like we did our taste test. Joe knew. She did the the Aldi Dollar Tree coffee taste test. Yay! I won. Uh.